Alright, so today I have a tutorial, and it's on, um, people have been asking me on how to do this, it's, uh, how to, imp how to make something in, in Photoshop, then import it to Cinema 40, and this is really simple to do, so let's just get started. You want to open up uh, Photoshop, and then just, let's, we're just going to be using an arrow or, huh, let's use this dog print, this footprint, whatever. And you just want to make your, you can have text, whatever you want, and then just rasterize that. And then once you have this, all you want to do is go to path, click this drop down to the right of path, and then, oh, my bad, I forgot. Alright, so you're going to want to select this first, since by selecting it, you have to make sure it's on a new layer, hold control, and click the square, and that would select whatever is on this layer. So if you have another dot or something right here. I didn't make it because that was selected. And you select it, it's going to select the dot too. So you know, whatever's in this layer is going to be selected by clicking, con holding control and clicking the little icon right here. So once you have it selected, you want to go to path and drop down, make work path tolerance at one. And as you can see, it's not really precise. It's pretty good on this one. But usually sometimes it doesn't come out like perfectly. Like as you can see, kind of on this one right here it kind of just sharps out instead of going around it just sharp it sharpens out so then once you have this selected and I'll show you guys the second way on how to do this if this video gets a hundred thumbs up and that way it's more precise and perfect but um yeah once once you have this you just want to go to file export path to illustrator and make sure it's work path and then click OK and let's just name it DX Street Alright, and then minimize that, and you'll have it right here. And you want to just open up Cinema 40, and then File, Open, and just look for that file. And you may need Illustrator for this to work. You may need to have it. I'm not sure. But I found this out when I had Illustrator, so I really don't know how to t what to tell you. But you want to make sure the scale is 1, connected splines, just tick, and then click OK, and there you have it. And now all you want to do is go to extrude nerves, put that in the extrude nerves, but since there's different paths, you're going to need to put each path into extrude nerves. So you're going to need, hold on, to put this out. Let's just take these all out of this null object. Take that out, and then just hold control, D, 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 D. And then just put all these inside the extrudes. But yeah, that's, that's how you do it, and it's really easy to do. And we could have put these all in an old object by holding Alt and G, and you have them all in a group. So yeah, it's something really easy to do, and uh, hopefully you guys like this tutorial. And um, yeah, so if this video gets 100 thumbs up, uh, I'll show you guys the other way on how to do it. But yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I have an intro I'm giving away. Uh, it's a file, it's a preset file that I made. And um, I'm just waiting for my videos to get a certain amount of views. So once that happens, all my old videos get a certain amount, like my last two videos, my HD PBR settings and my um, uh, Cinema 40 R12 giveaway. Once that gets a uh, amount of views, and this video does, I'll upload my intro giveaway. So I'll talk to you guys later, and hopefully this helped a lot of you guys. And Yeah, that's basically it. So see you guys. Take it easy. Take it easy.